Okay, let's talk about percent, and we're going to take on this problem here. 8% of x is 40. So we want to know what the value of x is. And x, in algebra, a variable like x, you can replace with the verbal phrase uh, a number. So you can kind of think of this problem as 8% of a number, some number, is 40. Now, percent, uh, people have been taught percent in different ways. There's a couple, two, three different uh, primary methods to teach percent. So if you think you could do this problem using the method that you uh, know, definitely do it. And I don't want to change your um, uh, skill set in terms of percent. And so people do percent in different ways. As long as you can confidently get the answer, that's uh, uh, really what matters. However, if you're totally confused here, well, then you're going to want to learn something about percent. Now, if you're new to my YouTube channel and you need additional help with percent, I have a ton of percent videos in my pre-algebra uh, uh, playlist on my YouTube channel, but more about that later. So we're going to get into this in just one second. Uh, it's probably a good idea to have a calculator. Not completely necessary, but yes, you know, you, you don't feel bad if you're using a calculator to help you along. But remember, we don't want to be guessing here. We, you got to know what you're doing uh, if you're going to get an answer. There's a lot of different things you can do here, right? You can change this into, you could take this, uh, divide this by 40, multiply this by 100. There's a lot of different kind of combinations of uh, things you can do with 8% and 40. And then what ends up happening is students just guess. They're like, I think it's this, or maybe try that. And here's a bunch of answers right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I'm lucky I got the right one. Well, that's not what we want to do. We want to confidently approach this problem. So I'm going to teach you how to do this step by step in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here uh, very shortly. Uh, but I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, maybe a teacher certification exam, uh, maybe the CLEP exam or the Accuplacer or the Alex exam, all those uh, particular exams have a lot of math on them. And if you don't do well in the math section, you don't do well on the exam. So let me help you out. Just go to my website and check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your exam, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then lastly, I help those of you that are just having a tough time in your math class. Now, if you're serious about really wanting to do better in mathematics, then you got to do this. You have to take great notes. So over decades of teaching uh, mathematics, one thing is apparent to me, those students who take great notes, I'm not talking about good notes, I'm talking about awesome notes, these students always end up with like, you know, A pluses and all kinds of good stuff. And then the reverse is true. Those students who are like me, way back in the good old 1980s. And what was I doing? Well, definitely wasn't uh, doing uh, what I was supposed to. I certainly wasn't taking notes. I was talking to my friends. I was uh, just doodling or doing whatever, trying to copy someone else's homework. Listen, I get it. You know, if you really want to learn math, you have to work hard. And the thing that you have to do primarily every day is to stay focused on what the teacher is teaching. Okay, so note taking is about uh, remaining highly focused because there's just too many details. If you miss uh, important details in your math course, you're going to struggle. So start taking great notes. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to uh, start studying. Those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, let's get into 8% of X is 40. So just a quick review about percent. Let's say I wanted to find 7% of 20. How do I do that problem? Well, to find a percent of a number, recall, oops, I didn't want that. Recall, you want to take your percent and turn it into a decimal. Okay, you want to turn this into a decimal. And how do we do that? Well, you can move the decimal point two places to the left or simply divide by 100. So just a quick review on percent. I don't want to turn this into a complete full lesson. I kind of just want to focus on this one problem. Again, I have a lot of different videos uh, on percent in my um, pre-algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. Of course, you could just take my pre-algebra course and really master this stuff. But let's take a look at 7 
or 7%, but it's really 7.0%. So I write that as 7.0, so we know where the decimal point's at. So you're like, 7%, where's the decimal point? Well, it's right after the 7. So to convert this to a decimal, I can scoot this over two places to the left. So that would be 0 0.07. And that's effectively uh, the result of taking 7 and divided by 100. But what we have to do, whether you divide by 100 or move the decimal point, over two places to the left, we gotta take our percent and turn it into a decimal. And then we just simply multiply by that number in our calculator and you'll get the answer. Okay, so this is how you find a percent of a number. But if you know how to do this, and most of you uh, know this, this is basic, basic percent. Um, well, if you know how to do this, then we can solve this problem. Okay. All right, so again, if you have a certain technique that you were taught in school and you know it, confidently well then that's excellent the answer by the way is 500 so if you got 500 confidently and you knew exactly what you were doing then i must give you a happy face with a little mohawk and an a plus all right so let's get into it so eight percent of x is 40. well remember this is a uh, some number so if i was finding the percent of a number what am i going to do well remember i'm going to take that uh, percent write it as a decimal so 8% is 0.08 as a decimal. Okay, we just talked about how to do that. I could divide by 100 or move the decimal point uh, two places to the left and it becomes a decimal. So I'm finding 8% of some number. I don't know what that number is, but if I did know that number, I would go 0.08 times that number. In algebra, we write that as 0.08x. And this uh, word here is, 8% uh, of x is in algebra. When you see the word is, that's equal. Okay, so we have 0.08, okay, or 8% of some number. So I'm going to multiply by that number is, that's equal to 40. So what I have here is a basic equation. I um, love to solve percent problems by setting up these equations because it's very easy. If you know how to find a percent of a number like so, then you can solve any percent problem by a simple equation like so. All right, so we have 0.08x is equal to 40 to solve, uh, to solve for x. Hopefully you know how to do this. All we're going to need to do is divide both sides of the equation by this 0 0.08, 0 0.08, and you can see I did the work right here. And let's go ahead and just kind of uh, really make sure you see the work. X is going to be equal to 40 divided by 0 0.08. You put that into your calculator, and you get 500. So let's just double check our work here. It's okay, well, X is equal to 500, so 8% of 500, so 0 0.08 times 500. Uh, if you do this in your calculator, you'll see that, in fact, it is equal to 40. Okay, so basic percent, percent is everywhere. You've got to know this when people say, hey, when am I ever going to use this math stuff in real life? Well, percent, you see this every day, and you got to know how to work with percent beyond those little basic problems. So things like this, you certainly need to know. And hopefully this little video helped you out. Again, I have a ton of more videos on percent in my pre-algebra playlist. But if you like this video in some small way, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. Uh, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have a thousand plus videos on my channel. My mission is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you're having a tough time learning math, well, do your part, take notes, talk to your teacher, and then take the initiative. Go find a teacher that you uh, like and understand. If that's me, that's awesome. I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel. Of course, my best math help will be within my uh, math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.